two birds. We got a little snow this morning. Wow. Yeah, I woke up to find these uh, big pipes in my yard yesterday. They're gonna, they're getting ready to put a uh, sewer system in. Where I live, we we have a septic tank situation, so they're getting ready to put uh, put sewer in. So those kind of weird ad pipes in my yard, but uh, I guess they have to get everything set up before they start doing their thing. Anyway, we're gonna get out in the garage. All right, tubers. We got the uh, kids in here. Gonna, they're gonna get the fire going for us. It's 18 degrees outside. I can't do anything in here until I get the uh, get a good fire going, get the temperature up a little bit. All right, tubers. We want to try to get the uh, these uh, bolts extracted out of the heat exchanger here. Uh, I'm gonna get me a center punch. Get my drill bits, my easy out, so on and so forth ready, and we'll uh, see if we can get these out of here. I want to get a good, a good ding right here in the top of the bolt using a center punch. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do that gets me started, so my so my bit doesn't wander, obviously. And we're going to drill this out. Alright guys, I started in with uh, my drill bit. We're going to go into larger sizes of drill bit as we go through this process. We're going to get a little oil on here so it doesn't burn my bit up. Okay guys, I want to show you how I got this out of here. Finally, finally got some success with this one. Uh, I just kept drilling the hole larger and larger. And I, I drilled to where it was almost touching the threads. Well, I didn't want to screw the threads up, so I had to stop there. And then I took, this is on a flex shaft, you know, like a, the Dremel or whatever. Uh, this is, happens to be a Craftsman uh, tool. And this cuts metal, it cuts anything. And you can get one of these for your Dremel. Uh, excuse me. I just take that, took that and I just started easing it around and then it just slings the threads out you know when you get so close so I was able to salvage that one and then I took this screw it's got the uh, self tapping end on it I just ran it in to clean any any little uh, thread that may be left any little bits so that one's done now, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but I've got to get this one out. It's going to be the same type of process. Like I said, this has to, uh, my alternator adjusting arm that comes off the engine, it mounts right here, so I've got to have this one as well. After I get all this done, we're going to get this thing cleaned up and get a coat of paint on it. All right, tubers, 45 minutes later, we have an 8 millimeter hole that we're going to use bolt our alternator brace on with. Cool. Alright tubers, what I'm going to do is just going to take a little bit of uh, starting fluid, spray around on here where I had all that penetrant. Hey tubers, welcome back. I want to wrap up the uh, whole heat exchanger segment here with just a, a few thoughts. I actually I debated on whether or not to post this the series on the, on the heat exchangers, but you got to take the good with the bad. It really didn't turn out the project. I didn't really care for it, and I just wasn't happy with the end result. But it's going to work. I wish that I had a different means to do it. We got a car that can't get up the hill here. Excuse the noise. It's a little bit slippery outside. Um, it didn't turn out exactly what I wanted it to. I wish that I. What I would like to have done, actually, if I'd had a set of torches, I would rather braised all this you know um but i didn't so and i'm sure you know i kind of got to thinking that if they were i'm gonna cut right here and let this guy get done uh spinning his wheels or whatever and i'll get back with you yeah this has been going on for two days this whole uh spinning of the wheels and so on and so forth i guess uh i guess this is really when you need a volkswagen eh Okay guys, I think they're done with the uh, tire spinning out there for a while. Uh, sorry about that. As I said, I, I debated on whether even to post this segment or not because of 
the way I had to go about it. It would have been nicer, like I said, if I could have braised it, you know, with, but I don't have a torch. And I got to thinking out there that, uh, I got to thinking about the, the, the tubers out there that don't have a torch. So this is a way to fix it if you don't have a torch and you can't braise it. It would have been a better job that way. However, I didn't have one. It's going to hold for a few years. Uh, it's going to work just fine. As far as the exhaust manifold portion of this, it's all solid. It's great. <coughs> Excuse me, in good shape. It's just this, you know, the housing that goes around to carry the warm air. So I want to go ahead and post it. I hope it helps. And um, we're going to get started with some other things in a couple of days. So I'll catch you guys then. And I want to thank all the Uber Tubers for watching. You guys are great.